Greetings, welcome to another episode of This Damn House. Okay, so, some of you might remember this project. Um, this is a, uh, it's a, you use it for gymnastics, uh, or maybe some other stuff you do at night that seems like gymnastics. Um, but, um, so what you do, it, it helps you with handstands, right? And, um, this would be really effective if you want to learn how to do, like, pirouettes on, on the une uneven bars, or just even single single bar for men. And um, I made this a while ago, and there's a video of how I did this, so you can take a look at that. Um, but today I'm gonna, I had an idea, right? So I think I can make a, a container to hold this, just like this, to keep it from sliding. And it, it's not really gonna be complicated, I think it's a pretty easy build, uh, but what it'll do, it'll give me a lot of flexibility when I need to like use this as a floor bar without it moving. So I was trying to increase the um, functionality of these things so that way they can have more applications. All right, great. Listen, I uh, hope you get to enjoy this and I hope that it actually uh, ends up being something you can end up using. Thanks. Let's do it. The idea I have to do this is take this piece of wood here and I'm going, to, it's a two by four, and I'm going to cut a groove inside of it. This will slide inside of the groove. All right, something like that. And then I'm going to uh, cap the end so this doesn't slide out, so it just actually sits in there. So what I'm gonna do first is, um, Let's go ahead and measure this here so we can get the center of it. So this is like a, um, a one, two, three, three and a half. So that would be 1.75. Uh, so let's mark this off for one point, one and a half. So one, I'm sorry, um, one and a, uh, let's, sorry, no, no. Uh, let's try that again. That's going to be um, one inch and three fourths. Yeah, three fourths, seven five. Yeah, I got you. That's what I said. I knew that. Okay, so those are my lines. And then what I'm going to do here is and mark this in the center. So I want to get a feel for what the center looks like. All right. All right, so that's my center. And then I'm going to take this here. So I'm going to measure the, the depth of this. So what we're working with. Can you see? I just want to make sure you can see. If I see what you're seeing, I can see if you can see. So. This is one and a half. Okay, so one and a half. Okay, so we're gonna let's see. If that's one and a half, right? And this is all right. So let's go in. So, if it's one and a half, that means we need three fourths of an inch out that way on both sides. So there we go. One, two, okay, so right here. Like that. So that should be around how thick it is, roughly anyway. We're just getting a rough idea. It doesn't have to be uh, exact right now because to get it exactly, I'm going to use the actual material itself. I just need to make sure my values make sense. Right, so if everything goes well, this should actually 
be exactly the right. Oh wow, it's actually a little wider. Okay, that's perfect. But it's rough idea. That's okay, good. I need just need something to like work with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, cut this here on this side, and then I'm going to get the actual. Uh, you know, while I'm at it, let's just go ahead and do that right now. So we'll do the. Uh, I think. That good of a foot would be nice to have. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a good bit of a space. Nice, nice foot for it. I think so. All right, so. All right. Now, how much is that? What do you think? From here to here, what do you think that's gonna be? One, two, three. Ah, uh, all right. So three, center three. Yeah, let's do let's do three. Three it is. So we're gonna do three inches in. Right, so one. Two, I wanna block your view. One, two, three, right here. Right. Go across like that. I just need to create a, a foot for this, you know? So it will be three there. And then I measure this now. Let's see, across the surface, this is. Across the surface, this is one, two, three, f sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four and looks like four and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, four and fifteen sixteenths. Okay. So four and fifteen sixteenths added onto this would look like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Eight. 15 sixteenths, so something like here. Okay. So it sits in there, and then we add another, um, add another uh, three inches on the other side, so that we can have a even, even legs, right? So one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, like this. Right. So this should be enough to keep it from flipping over. It's gonna have a low center of gravity and it gives me enough uh, space to make two with the same piece of lumber because, you know, I don't really have a lot of room here. So I think that sh that should be enough to get a, can you, oh yeah, there you go. That should be enough to get both sides with this one piece. All right. What I like to do now is take these lines and just go a little bit all the way around. It'll help me when I cut so I can see what's happening. Um, I'm gonna use a table saw and uh, just raise the blade up and then go around. And get it close as possible to that uh, to the final position. Once I get to that final position, and then I'm gonna have to use my chisel and uh, and cut it out. So I'm going to keep the wood as one big piece. It's going to be uh, the safest way to do this project not get your fingers close to the blade blade at all so this one doesn't really matter because it's going to be um it's going to be a gang cut so nothing to worry about okay so we'll take the table saw oh i forgot to line this up too so yeah get some lines right here Okay, so here we go. Let's try. 
try this. Good. Flip that down. Okay. Oops. All right. So that looks good. Do I need a cinder line? Not really, but whatever. I'll just put it here anyway, since I'm doing this. Great, so we got our lines all the way through. I'm gonna feed the table saw like that, cut all the way, as far, get as close as I can by raising the blade as high as possible to there. And then I'll have to like, uh, you know, you'll see the process, it's kind of neat. There's actually another set of lines I actually forgot to, uh, to add on here because I'm gonna do whatever I cut on this side, I'm gonna cut on that side, so I need to mark it so that way I know um, so I'm gonna go, sorry, into the table saw like that. Um, I'm gonna have to put like an arrow like this. That'll help. And what this arrow will do, it helps me know that this is the side that's constantly being pushed against the um, the guide rail. So that is gonna be a really important thing to like uh, have an orientation because I'm gonna. Feed it in like that, flip it over, feed it in like that. So that way, whatever happens on this side is the exact same thing that happens on this side. You know what I forgot? I really do need to like mark that line right there. So let me go ahead and get that line. Because I don't think I'm gonna use a stop block for that. Uh, even though I really should when I think about it. Mm. Yeah, let me just mark it up, but I'll, I'll probably do a stop block. You'll see, just to help me, help me get the same exact cut every time. But not really, I don't think so. Gotta be honest, I don't think I'm gonna do a stop block. Just kidding. All right, so that's one, one, two, that's three inches there. Go over here, drop this in, three inches. One, two, three. That. And across. Oh. Hope I'm not blocking your view. Okay, so that's that. And then, uh, let it help me know how far to go each time, so I don't go too far. Wait, I'm totally wrong. You know what? It's actually, I need to go all the way in to right there. So let me get this right again. So from here to here, I think I can stop saying no. So, you should have a drinking game. How many times do you say so? And see how many, how many drinks you end up having. If you can survive this whole video. So I'm gonna try not to say so anymore. Ready? That's my goal. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, th eight, seven and 13 sixteenths. Uh, 
7. This is actually not 13. This is a uh, from here to here is 7 and Is it 14? Like, yeah, I think it's 14 sixteenths. Yeah. So from here to here 7 14 sixteenths, okay? And um, the entire length uh, of this piece right here okay, so let's see. Oh, I said it, rats. Okay, one. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, what am I doing? I'm gonna mark from up here. Why didn't you tell me, people? You saw me do this. You didn't tell me. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So from here to here is actually eleven. Here, here's 11 inches. Yeah. Let's see, let's see if we get 11 inches over here also. Oh. Can you see? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sure do. It is a done deal, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Perfect. So that is the full length. Again, this doesn't really matter. This cut, it's going to be a game, a game cut. But this is the most important line right here. So let's just make sure that that line is marked all the way around. Pencils just broke. Can I make it? Can I do it? Will it happen? <laughs> Almost. Right, perfect. So again, um, this is the most important line, that one right there. So we're going to go and try to stop right there. This is a little trick that we use when we try to do these kind of cuts. You raise the blade up as high as possible, and what will that what that will do is allow you to like slide the piece in as far as you can. And then that way you can get as much as as close as possible to the um, to that. So the bottom part of the blade's gonna like because it's a circle, it'll get do like that. So you'll have to um, be you know keep that in mind. Okay, so but you raise it up high, pass it in, and do it a lot, and uh, that's how you do it. So it's gonna be a, a lengthy process. So let's just sit back and enjoy. Before I make this cut, I want to show you something. Um, right here, uh, you, okay, the line right here, this is as far as the blade should go, right? This line, I match it up to the very, very bottom of the table saw. So, let's see if I can get a better shot for you so you can see it. Okay, so the very bottom of the blade right here is as far as it should go. Right. And what I'll do, I'm going to, um, so the very bottom of the blade is as far as it goes. So what I'll do is I'm going to put a stop block back here. At least I think I'm going to try. So let's see what happens. This is my uh, stop block back here, so that way I'll never go past the right depth to be consistent. And uh, come around here so you can take a look what I did. So I took my clamp and I just placed the wood there, wood there, 
just clamp it down so that way it'll, I'll never be able to go past that. And that should give me a consistent stopping point on both sides so that way I can do this and it'll be a, a, fl a flush cut at the, end, at the very, very end. So uh, let's go ahead and try to go get this done. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a long time, a lot of cut in, so let me see if I can get you a better angle.
going to leave the setup in place in case I need to come back and uh, cut a little bit more, but I think I got the, the width correct. So from there, we're going to come over here, maybe some chisel work. There. So I'm going to get you set up. Just to chisel this out. Um, I got the piece all clamped down. I'm going to chisel this stuff out. Definitely recommend you use your uh, protective wear. I'm going to give you a better angle so you can see what's happening.
it fits really nicely. Um, as you can see, it goes up to right there. Put the piece across. We're good to go. I was actually going to um, see, because it has an angle because of the way the, the blade turns, right? So this slopes this way. On this side, it slopes the opposite way. It's because I kept on feeding it on the same side. Now, oh, what I was going to do, I was going to go flip it over like this and feed it through in this side and do a couple more cuts and then feed it on this side and then do a couple more cuts just to get rid of this. But you know what the truth is? This right here slides nicely into this. And when I put a, when I put a back onto it like that, it won't go anywhere. And that's all that we want. So we don't need to do any more extra cutting. So we're looking good. We're almost there. We'll leave it at that. This happens to work out really well where the, um, the side, the angle coming like this is when you put the wood in there, it just kind of like slightly matches this angle. It's just coincidental. I didn't plan it, but it works out really well. So see, sits in there like that and make sure it's flat and then slide this in. What I want to do, I want to mark this now to, I'm going to mark this so that way, oh, let's make sure. So my wood that I'm going to place in here, that's pretty accurate. That worked out really well, actually. Um, it's going to, I'm going to slide a piece of wood right in here. And then that's it. That's going to stop that from rolling. So I should actually mark it on both sides too. Let me just go ahead and do that while I'm at it. So find the flat side of the wood, slide that in. Take this here. I glue it together, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out, make it a little bit cleaner. This 2x4 here, same thing, just a little, actually it's like a 2x8, I think, maybe? 2x6, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's 2x6. So this actually fits perfectly in between here like that. So what I'll do, I'm going to mark this off. And that's how much I'm going to do a rip cut. Looks like uh, looks like two. Yeah, one rip cut would be fine. And I'll be able to like cut it across the middle and put it in for both sides. So to mark this, um, the best way to go about this, right? The saw that I would use is probably going to be my double bevel sliding compound saw. Boy, I like saying that word a lot. Well, those series of words. So I'm going to do that right now, so you can see. The thickness of this is what I want to cut that off at, right? And I'm going to get that thickness by doing something like this. Um, uh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to go down like that. There's a pin back here. I'm sorry, right here. I swear to God, this is my tool. Um, and, oops. That's my uh, that's my thickness right there. And what I'm gonna do is take something like that. Right, yeah, that's it. Slide that forward. Can't get any closer. Yes, it does. Okay. Like that. 
I just have to back it off a little bit because when I tighten it on, it just goes in just a little bit, like one sixteenth of an inch, I think. That's precision for you right there, huh? So that's perfect. Yeah, that's good. So this is going to be my uh, my uh, my block of wood that that blocks. It gives me the dimension so I can have the gang cuts be the exact same. Wrong side. So that's my dimensions. And what I'll do, I'll take this, put it like that. Probably break that off. Put that in like that. Might be safer to go here. I'm going to use this side over here to like push the piece in. pushing in like that and I should have to go like this because the depth of the cut's not too uh, not too big right? and then I just want to probably do one more thing keep my hands away from that tool I'm just gonna use uh, use this like that just to help hold it down cool so let's let's, let's do it Smell that? That is uh, that is the smell of slightly burned wood. So this now I think should slide right in here like this. Yeah, there you go. We have a match. Now I'm just gonna cut that off, put it on both sides, and uh, we should have ourselves a nice uh, what do you call it? Um, stop block for the to hold it in place, all right? What I said to you is, uh, I don't really need to be concerned about the actual length right here because I'm just gonna use the piece to measure it. So this is what we just cut off. And that's this. This is the uh, slide that slopes down in that way. I'm gonna find the flat spot on this where it's not rolling anymore. Slide that in. Okay. Take this, push this down. And what it's going to give me is a nice stable so I think that that should not go anywhere. I don't think that needs anything else to keep it from sliding. Um, initially I was going to place something a little higher so you know it would be just this width here but a bit higher I don't really think I need it um, I'll think about it but I don't think I need it but I think this should be fine um, yeah all right I lied a little change of plans I think this is actually a better way to go look at that so that's this, so we just cut off, which I wish I didn't cut off now, but it's too late. Um, so that's that, right? I think this right here, just, you know, that's gonna really, really hold it in place. I'm gonna go ahead with the higher path to hold this. So let's do that. I'm gonna cut this here, so get as much as that. I wish this piece was fine, but whatever. We'll do the best with what we have. Cool. Instead of using a table saw, I, this would be a better saw to go. I think it's going to be a safer, easier cut to do. So it's going to take this flat side here 
and line this up. And that's, that's the most I'm going to get out of this. And slide this in. Like that. And then Like that. Let's go ahead and cut down like this. So I'm gonna get my uh, other piece of wood to help me pull that down. Mind if I your safety glasses, respirator. And that's why you never put your hands close to these things. So. I really like the height of this a lot better. Um, I didn't get as clean as a cut as I wanted on the top of this, but it doesn't matter. It's not for show. Slide that in like that. And that's gonna really trap this from ever moving. So it's a good idea to, I like the way that I, go in this route, it's definitely better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, mark this off. Just a rough idea. We're going to cut right there. And I'm going to do a gang cut along that side. And I think because it should be the same on this side. Roughly speaking, almost the same. So I'm gonna overcut it a little bit and then I'll do a final cut and get it all perfectly lined up at the very end. This line is the line that we want to extend, and to do that, I'm gonna need a pencil, which I usually have. Oh. Hiding. All right. So I'm going to do a little bit over. So that's the line I want. I'm going to go a little bit further, like right there. And I'll set up my gang cut off of that side. Right there. So I'm going to line up my saw, have it do two times, and then that should be, uh, you'll see. 
I need to set up my saw, so that right there. I don't want to block the line. So we're going to cut. This is the flat side, so I'm going to put that side against the back. Slide this out. Make it a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Tighten that down. Okay. So what I'll do, I'm gonna cut it like that, flip it around, slide it in, and cut it like that. So well, I'm sorry, cut it like that, flip it over. Do that. I'm gonna need a push, a push stick. I think I'll use this. Keep my fingers far away from the piece. Maybe even this one be better. Push down. Yeah, no. I don't really need to worry about the flip because the blade spins down, so it pushes it down while it spins. So let's do those gang cuts. Uh, batch cuts, gang cuts, I think they're called batch cuts. the same size. Okay, so let's see, uh, let's see what we can do over here. I really like the ideas, the idea of like, making this taller. It's going to make this a way more stable thing. So let's put this in, get it right there. Tall side, set that in. That is pretty darn cool. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to glue this down, clamp it together like that. I'll do the same for the other side over there. I'm going to mark this off in case there's any anomalies in the size sizes. So let's do, let's do this, it's going to be side, uh, let's do side A. This is, this is A. So I know for sure that when I put this together, I cut it here, it's going to be for side A. Right. And Okay, so I like the way it's in there. Okay, I'm going to also make the same orientation. This is up. Okay, so when I go over there, I know that... And I actually do have it marked already from the previous project. The three lines right here mean up. So... Got my wood glue. second here. I think I'm going to mark this so I can see the line so I don't ever go past that line. Put that back in. Perfect. Yep, good. So go ahead and mark this. I was going to use this glue a lot faster than, but I guess I was wrong. I never really made that many steps. At one point, I 
these up pretty quickly. Boy, that's, that's ridiculous. I'm gonna use a little inertia on my side there. Hmm. This might be a deal breaker tonight here. about done. Can I get any more out of this thing? What I like to do is keep a rag with some hot water to clean up this glue. I think it's kind of messy. And I'm going to need to put some pieces of wood under that. So. You hear that? This is me letting go gas. I've got some small little friends. The quad ped type. I like to eat all your stuff. Okay, so that's good. What I'll do now is just uh, go ahead and clamp it down.
So that's A. Let's do B. Take this here. Flip this over to here. Oh no, I can't. Because of the angle. Alright, so I'm gonna have to wait for this to uh, dry a little bit, come back, and then uh, I'll glue it down then. Oh, it's so messy. This is side A, it's all dry. Uh, I'm going to now do side B. So this is the angle that slips down. This is the up and side A. So I need to flip this over like this. Cause that's where that slips now. I have to do the upside on this, so. I'm going to use for let's see okay yep so I'm just going to go like that glue this in and clamp it down I saw a problem I'm gonna have a problem cutting this with my power tool if I glue this down first. So I'm going to do this instead. Um, I need to measure that and cut it and cut it because all the dangerous stuff is done so I don't need to like worry about getting my hands close to it anymore. So I'm just gonna cut this right now so that way. Cut it right here and cut it right here. So that should be the waste. I'm gonna set up my cut so that way you can um, so that my GAN cut so it can be the same. So I want to slide this over to see the blade touch that line. And the waist side is on the inside. So that looks pretty good. Okay. So once that's in position, slide this in. Let's tighten this down. Measure it twice, cut once. Okay, so that should do that, and that should do that. Alright, here we go. Yeah, no, I'm totally wrong. This goes like that, sorry. Never mind. So, there you go. That's that. It's not necessary to mark this side because there's only two choices. It's a 50-50% chance you're gonna get right or wrong, right? So you know it's A, this is obviously B. So what I did, I got a piece of wood underneath here because I need to push this down. This is also elevated so it doesn't like uh, roll around. This is the upside, right? There are a lot of shenanigans to get this glue to be... Uh, basically, I just got to get more glue. It's, I have not used this fast enough and then now it's like stuck. The viscosity has changed into something. It's not really useful anymore, so. Oh yeah, this, this thing is done. It's so done. Okay, so that's there.
that's insane. All right, I'm going to give up on that. So with that in place, I'm just going to... No scholarship. This will work. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's just just a temporary to hold it in place. So this is a good practice. This is a good thing to practice because you don't want to ruin the side of your piece. If it's a fine piece you're working on, these are the kind of things you want to do. Just take sacrificial pieces of wood and stuff them in there because you don't want to damage the piece itself. If you're, if you're gonna like, if it's something you presented, you know, this is not something that is gonna be presented. me, all I care about is just making sure that this is there. It's not too tight yet. What I want to do is just put some downward force on this. No joke. <sighs> As you can see, it's challenging at times. need to make sure this is nice and tight because I don't want it to slide around when the person goes to use this. doesn't want to stay, does it? This is the most important clamp out of all the clamps. All right, here we go. This one I'm going to really tighten out on now.
Okay, so that's good. We're all settled down. Now I'm gonna take this off. Because I don't want any glue to accidentally touch this and bind the two together. So weird. You're good to go. That's perfect. Alright, so let that go ahead and sit in and settle. Give it about an hour and it'll be done. Let's see how well we did. Are you drunk yet? Did you uh, put it in the drinking game I mentioned? See how many times I say the word so. I'm trying not to say so as much anymore. I just think I always say so. Every time I start to new take it's like, so we're gonna do this now so no longer trying to do that or I'm trying to minimize it as much as possible all right let's see how successful we were shall we all right typical this is gonna get stuck to this because there's glue down here so let's see let's see if we can bang this off Lots of stuff right there. Alrighty. Let's see. I probably should have just pushed. I should have clamped and pushed these. This side also down. Not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna clean this off a little bit, and then uh, right back at you. Now that. Is exciting. We are almost in the home stretch. As you can see, we have, uh, because this is the exact same size as this, the labeling A or B doesn't matter, but again, I'm being paranoid. And uh, you can see how this would work. You put it down, go like this, and the gymnast doesn't go anywhere. It's a nice, stable surface for them to uh, practice handstands on. If you want to have a, if you have another, if you want to have another use for this, uh, always make sure these are forwards, obviously, because um, they will uh, brunt the force of any sort of movement going that way. And uh, if done right, you should get a nice, good fit. All right, let's flip it around and see what we get on the other side. Cool. Actually, this side fits better. So maybe... I don't know, whatever. You know, that's the joys of making stuff. They're gonna not be perfect, but uh, yeah, that's really solid. That thing's not going anywhere. So that's, we got one more thing to do. Maybe we'll make it pretty, I'm not sure. What do you think, that we should make it prettier? I can make it prettier, but I don't know. Let's see. Um, this is amazing, I love this thing. I can put this anywhere now. All right. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is uh, just kinda clean this line up a little bit. Let's make sure it's flush. So you can see right here, it uh, protrudes a little bit. It might look stylish. I could leave it like that. I think it would, it looks cool like that, but I don't know, I'm gonna just clean it up a little. Not to say it's dirty, I just wanna make it flush. So let's see how much nicer we can get that. Perfectly flush. Let's do the other one. Yeah, 
it. That's it. There you go. So now we have nice and flush in the back. And that's the reason why I, I left it longer so that way I can cut it back. So some of the things you do when you're like doing woodworking, you don't want to try to measure and have it lined up perfectly. Leave things a little longer and then you try to do a finish cut at the end where you can get it all together. So that way you don't have to worry about trying to get these things flat. All right, so we did it. Looks good. I believe we're at the, the end of this project. Um, hope you really liked it. Uh, this was a lot of fun to make. Got to use some old technique that I haven't done in a while. Give you a nice little close-up of it. So that's the final product. Right there. And uh, if you're new to this channel, you've never seen me uh, build the other thing. Uh, I call this my... Uh, Open source gymnastics uh, bar. It's good for uh, training giants and clear hips and back extension rolls to handstands. So that's how it works. Slide that in there. So this is a separate project by itself. You can go take a look at it. I thought it was pretty cool making this. It's a nice two hour long video. So if you're up late at night and you have know, something to do, check it out. This could be a lot of fun to watch the whole process. It's real time. Didn't speed anything up. So you get a full, the full, the full kit and caboodle. No weird music in the background either. Just me, tools. You just hanging out with me. Uh, so that's fun. Um, I think I'm going to test it first. I want to do something where I thought maybe I might want to put a, a bottom underneath this, like that, you know, just to uh, maybe uh, allow it to be elevated. I don't know. I wanted, I wanted to keep, I wanted to like maybe make this a little higher off the ground so it'll sit more like this. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I just a thought I had. I think it'll be good for it to sit higher but for now i'm gonna give it a little give, take it out in the field like get some get collect some data how it's being used and then uh i'll go from there hope you like it this was a super fun project to make i hope you also enjoyed uh watching me uh, go through the process of making this wonderful woodworking project for gymnastics it's uh Fun little like uh, apparatus. It's gonna it can help your gymnasts really enhance their uh, gymnastics practice, just because of the uh, it kind of forces some shapes. Um, if you like it, don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe below. Please comment. Also, it really helps um, YouTube algorithms find this. If you found a better technique or maybe saw something I could have done a little bit better. I'm your humble student, so go ahead and share your ideas. Uh, also, I'm a big fan of open source. I think knowledge is power, and it should belong to everybody. So if you feel the same way, go ahead and make sure you tell others about this wonderful project and help them find it so that way they can also utilize all my um, time and experience put into like cultivating what's possible in regards to woodworking and my inventions. Um, if you want to help me out, check out my... Uh, um, you know, I have an Amazon wish list. It's in the link below. It'll tell you all this. Uh, yeah, it'll give you some information, some tools I might need that can help myself uh, do a better job. And if I have more power, as in I can do more, I can help you too also do more. So go ahead and uh, pay it forward. Uh, again, other than that, thanks again for watching. I hope you had a great experience watching, I mean, participating, joining me on this journey. Um, it was a lot of fun. Anyway, until, until, until again, I'll, I'll see you soon, I hope, anyway. Enjoy, and uh, have a happy holiday, as they say. It's about that time of year.